Hey guys, I'm Alex Dow, and welcome back to 3D Flag Training The Basics. This is video 7, Working with Cameras. Whether you just started with this video, or you came from video 6, please open up the video 7 start project file. Alright, so in this tutorial, we're going to talk about cameras. There are actually three of them that you can use, so I'll show you each one and tell you when to use them. The first is the AE camera. Now, you'll notice that there isn't an AE camera in the scene yet, so that means if you try to use one of AE's camera tools, which are here, you'll get a system beep whenever you try to use it. Hear that? Okay. So to add a camera, go to the Layer menu and choose New Camera. Pick a normal camera lens like 50 millimeters and click OK. Good, so now that you have a camera, the AE camera tools will work. Isn't it funny how it looks like the flag is moving around, but really it's the camera moving around the flag. That's just something you'll get used to. Okay, so you can use the AE camera to move the flag left, right, up or down and make it work with the rest of your composition. If you use the orbit camera tool, you can look at the flag from different angles, which is a very cool effect. When you use the track Z camera tool, you can zoom closer to the flag to fill up the screen or zoom way out so your flag becomes a little bug to put at the bottom of your screen. Okay, so the second kind of camera is the one you get inside the flag setup window. You open up the setup window by clicking this button here. Once you're inside, you have a similar controls as the AE camera. They're right here. We have an orbit tool, a track XY tool, and a tool to move closer or farther away. Now this camera is only for working inside of the setup window. Once you close this window, you go back to the regular AE camera. Got that? So the setup window is just for setting things up, and the AE camera is for shooting the final shot. Two separate cameras, completely separate cameras. Okay, now the last camera is just to help with a special case. If you come here to the effect controls and go down the list, you'll find the camera and lights twirly. Click it to reveal a new list of controls. You can see here there's a check in front of the use comp camera option. That needs to be checked if you want to link to the AE camera. However, say that the AE camera is being used for other things and you want to be able to set the position of the flag without having to worry about the AE camera moving around. This is the sort of thing you run into when you need a flag as a background. For instance, let's turn on our text layer here and we can see that we want our text layer to be centered, but our flag is too small to be a background. So let me show you how to set that up. We'll start by changing our flag to a background right here, then unchecking the use comp camera button. Then we'll use our flag pull Z position to make the flag fill up the entire scene. The final step is to use our camera elevation tool down here to tilt my background to get some very interesting looks. And now notice my AE camera moves only my text and not my waving background. Alright, great, that's it for video 7, working with cameras. Stick around for video 8 where we'll learn how to loop an animation seamlessly. See you soon.